Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Angie. For those who are new to my channel, our Lord started giving me messages on the 7th of January 2024 when we consecrate a fast here in Queensland, Australia to draw closer to the Father, a relationship with Him. On the very first day, He started giving these messages. He caused them from Father's heart to yours. Now, before I share this message, <laughs> I do so in utmost fear of the Lord. I'm accountable to him. You are his precious children. It is by the Spirit of the Lord. It's a life-changing message. All these messages are life-changing because they, are, they come by the Spirit of God, not me, by the Spirit of God who releases life to those who would receive it. It is not a receiving by trying to understand something. It is a receiving understanding by the Spirit. As we yield, submit, surrender to Him in our hearts. Lay down, <laughs> self. Not my will, but your will be done, Father. I just want to hear, receive from your Spirit. Life-giving words of truth. Hallelujah. I ask your Holy Spirit, whom I can feel is moving now. I know him. I know when he speaks. I know when he's not speaking for someone. I know when he's moving and I know when he's not moving. This he's taught me over the years. Not something I'm trying to do. It's what he's doing in me. He is the spirit of the almighty living God. The spirit of the Lord. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Holy Spirit, I ask that you minister, please. This is an important word. It's life-changing to all those who are listening right now, those who are watching this video, to receive it from you. Don't try to understand and in the human intellect, understanding um, their beliefs or doctrine, understanding and what they may have been told by somebody else. But just hear it now for a heart that is humble, Yielded to hear the truth by you, Holy Spirit. Minister to any hearts of unbelief, doubt, religion, brokenness, trauma, abuse, hardening of a heart, bitterness in the heart. Whatever that would hinder them to hearing the truth. Beautiful Holy Spirit, just minister to them now, please offense, hurt, let down, whatever's happened to them, whatever they believed has happened to them, minister to their hearts now, please, Holy Spirit. Bring here, oh, I see healing being released. Thank you, Lord. He calls me seer. He can open my eyes to um, his realm, open my eyes to what's happening around, and he just showed me now our, our healing has been released. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You receive that too, by faith, by grace, through faith, we were saved, not of our own works that we could boast. It is by grace, the empowerment of the Spirit, through faith in the one who is faithful, Lord Jesus, we now live. Not of our own, not of our own understanding, nothing of self that we can boast. It's all him. <laughs> Hallelujah. White curtains behind me are representing the heavenly realms. The Lord asked me to put that up. Where we are seated with Lord Jesus, it is the finished work of the cross. It is resurrection, life and power. Seated with him in a position of rest, peace. It is done. And all that we do now is by his spirit. What well, his spirit, the spirit of Christ, and those who believe and consistently believe, can do in us and through us. What shirt the Lord asked me to put on to represent his spirit? This is Father's ministry. Father's ministry is led by his spirit. Father's home and part church here in Queensland, Australia, led by his spirit. Angie, led by his spirit. <laughs> All his children, Romans 8, 14, led by his spirit. Sons and daughters of God. Not, not led by self not led by a contrary spirit, by the Spirit of the Lord. 
it is evident by what spirit is leading you in your life. If it's the spirit of God, there's freedom, there's peace, there's joy, there's love. His fruits will be evident. His facets will be evident. Spiritual understanding, knowledge, counsel, wisdom. Fear of the Lord is a facet of Holy Spirit. And you walk in the power of his might and not your own because you're looking to him. When you look to yourself, you walk in your own strength and it's a struggle and hard works. If you're looking to him, he empowers you. If it comes about him and what he can do in you and then through you. His will, his purposes. He's letting me know someone needed to hear that. Thank you, Lord. I am yielded to him and I'm going to speak by unction of the spirit, whether a person likes it or not. Because his truth needs to come forth. You need to receive it by the spirit. His truth brings life, brings freedom. Hallelujah. And always speak in love. Always. Whether the person wants to hear it or not, speak by the spirit of God. Speak by love, love, love. <laughs> you will know his disciples, those who have been trained up in the way of the Lord, by their love. Hallelujah. That's a consistent fruit in those who have been led by his spirit. Oh, hallelujah. I can feel that fullness of the spirit coming on me now. <laughs> That's the lion. The righteous are as bold as a lion. Okay, everybody. No matter where you are in the world, you're seated in heavenly places. In our Lord, a position of rest and peace. You're about to hear a message given by the Spirit of God. Watch it. Father, I'm going to speak this in utmost reverence, as you know. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The anointing on his words are beautiful. Oh, I don't know if you can read my writing, but have a look at that. For those who are walking and discerning a spirit, you can feel the anointing. <laughs> because um, it's given by the Spirit of God. That's the Spirit of God in us who believe. Christ, the anointed one, Messiah, his spirit in us. When he speaks, there's anointing being released. Life. I look at these words. I feel that anointing, which is Christ, his spirit, are on these words because he wrote them, not me. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> I love you, my Lord. Let grace come upon those, Father, who hear this now by your spirit. They don't try to understand it themselves, but just receive understanding by your spirit. Truth come into their hearts as they yield every part of themselves over so the truth may come thank you father yes lord i exalt you my lord he just called me his bond servant hallelujah yes i am not my will be done your will be done regardless of what people might say or think regardless of how people will behave your will be done father your will be done that's a true servant, you see. You walk in the fear of the Lord and not fear of man. Hallelujah. Father, may your life now be released into the, the spirits of your children, into their hearts. Your truth come, your light come, and dispel all darkness. Thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Heavenly realms, heavenly realms, hallelujah. Osha, hanya, androsha. Okay, Lord, here we go. You ready? As I am, so are you, my children. Now, you can read in, I haven't typed this out, you know, I just have not had time. 1 John 4, 17, as he is, so also are we in this world as i am so are you my children when you speak in faith what is not will come into being as you speak in my name 
Oh, that's strong, Lord. As you abide in me, as I am. Uh, when you speak in faith, I'm reading my writing by the grace of God. <laughs> when you speak in faith, what is not will come into being as you speak in my name, as you abide in me. As I am, so are you. Oh, let that truth go forth. Oh, let it be a revelation. And cause lives be changed, Father. You are not your own. Hear him. You might be looking at me or hearing me. Look at him. Hear him. You are not your own. You never were. My little ones. Listen as I speak mysteries to you. Have your ear turned to me. Before creation was. I feel his love. It's beautiful. Before creation was. You were with me. Before I marked the land to separate from the waters, you were with me. Before life came to be on earth, you were with me. Hear me, you came from me. Your existence is because of me. Your being came through me. You are not your own. Nothing on earth can satisfy what I placed into you but me. In me, you are complete. Come full circle back to me, your maker. Who formed you in your mother's womb. Not a mistake. Not an accident. Called for for my purposes on earth. Brought forth as my children. My ecclesia. His church. To do my will. For my kingdom to reign. On earth. As it is in heaven. Hallelujah. You are my sons and daughters, born again by my spirit, my spiritual children birthed from my heart. As my son did works on earth, fulfilling his purpose in which he was sent, obedient to me, unto death of self, causing my will to be made manifest, you too will fulfill the purpose in which you were brought forth into the world to do in me. Oh, take that, take that, run with it, keep it, hold on to that, speak it back to him. Father, I will fulfill the purposes in which you brought me forth into this world to do in you. My children, a mystery I speak to you. Unless two are in agreement, how can they walk together? Unless the two become one, how can they unite in the purpose they are sent forth to do? It reminds me of a husband and wife. Unite in me. Be as one in me as my son was one in me. Through his obedience to me, he remained in my love. My children, if you love me, you'll be obedient unto me. You will keep my commandments, my instructions, 
my will be done and not your own. Fear is love, so beautiful. Listen, my dear little ones. You are not your own. Live for me. And then you will fulfill the purpose you're brought forth to do in me. I don't know, I'm just getting moved by the spirit. This is so beautiful. I in you. You in me. Together. <laughs> when his presence is so pure. Like this, it's, it's like it's moved to tears. When you get to know him, when you get to know Holy Spirit, he's with you. He's the spirit of the Father and the Son. You can feel his feelings. You get moved by his, his heart, the heart of the Father. The other day I didn't know it was him or me. <laughs> I'm going... Holy Spirit, is that you? Is that me? I'm getting moved, you know. And he said, United as one. It was no longer him and me, it was us together as one. Do you know you could get moved by the Spirit? And people just sometimes just don't understand when they perceive and where they're at. Not of him. <laughs> if you choose to be obedient to him, if you need to watch this video again, hear this message, it's life changing. As he is, so are we. I'm going to share. He's let me know and he's given me permission to do so. I was taken in the spirit and saw Lord Jesus. Different facets of him. He showed me the first time. A lion, a lamb, an eagle, son of man. Second time I was taken. I got shown double windows, windows. Third time I was taken, I got shown the sword. We've added in fourth time bronze feet. And he's given me permission to share what these mean. It's all the different facets. He is. And what he is in us. And we can only walk them by his spirit. As he is, he spoke to me. <laughs> One time you took me in the spirit. He said to me, I am in you and you are in me. As I am, so are you. That means an end to self. Each time he's taken me to this place, suffering me fell away. More of him. The outer man falls away, but the inner man becomes more. And that's where the Spirit of the Lord is. And his light dispels darkness. His truth brings light into our understanding. He is Lord Jesus. The way, the truth, and the life. You are in him, and he is in you. As he is, so are you. I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Father's timing and by his spirit. May his spirit now minister to you as you heard truth, as light came.
and bring life into you. Life into your life. You be as one in him. Just as Lord Jesus is in the Father and the Father and the Son and the Spirit. The three are one. We are to be as one in him. Then we can be one together in Father Spirit in unity and keep a bond of peace. See you soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.